simpler you must work out few good number of numericals to have an idea not one numerical will not be sufficient several cases will come so you should search different types of numericals and you should think on them let, let, i'll discuss all maximum possible cases so this is the block 3m which is kept on the ground no come for this so it will come so when just before collision just before collision th this particle will have velocity say u and what is u is equal to root of 2g h not and and this at rest after collision collision occurs then what will happen here there been impulse will be set up normal cont normal impulse will be set up no between the <coughs> particle and the block because when the moment particle comes and collides with the block m a normal contact force will act between the particle and the block and because of that what happen the block m will start moving down suddenly what happen the string is jerked or string is jerked or an impulse a sudden increase in tension an impulse is set up so i am not interested in the normal contact between the block and the particle i'll just leave it so in what direction the impulse i have to show upward no sir how to take the impulse the direction of tension will be the direction of impulse in the string the direction of normal contact acting on the body will be the direction of the impulse see impulse is what force into time no how the tension will act away from the body so you, you have to show that impulse also away from the body uh, here what actually happens how the jt will be set up here a normal impulse will act here on the don't 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 leave the basic here this jn what when will make the block m to move suddenly string will be jerk sudden increase in tension and impulse is set up and that impulse you have to show like this i think all of you know how to show tension attention acts away from the body then put j over uh, what can be motion no? when impulse acts on a body it will acquire a velocity uh, why is the velocity v should be same they are connected by common string no? and the string is inextensible string is inextensible so they definitely what will happen they must have common velocity let's write the equations no mu minus jt is equal to m plus m into v and uh, now don't write a conservation of linear momentum sir i'll write conservation of linear momentum for the total system can we do like this mu is equal to Uh, like m plus m 3m you should not do this you should write impulse momentum equation individually for this particle block individually for this block momentum is not conserved for the total system will agree L look at like this if the system is like this plus 2 jt is <coughs> upward no plus j n minus j n plus 2 jt is upward net impulse is there along y axis so momentum is not conserved of the total system only impulse only say so you can apply impulse momentum equation for this again momentum of this also not conserved because plus j n minus j n plus j t is unknown unbalanced so nothing called like a momentum of particle block conserved no momentum of system conserved no then what is the alternative left over writing impulse momentum equation This is the thing. So for block three m, zero plus j t equal to three m b. Add up these two. M u is equal to five m b. This is the thing. So now what will happen to this particular block three m? It starts rising up because it acquired velocity v. And the moment it loses contact from the ground, three m g weight will act here, no? the motion of this you you go back to the laws of motion so this everything you make it 2m tell me like a net force is in this direction no 3mg 
here this is t and they have a velocity like this v dash call this is v dash tell me the net force is acting opposite to velocity so both the blocks will undergo retardation how to calculate that retardation how to calculate the total retardation retardation is equal to 2mg minus 3mg by 2m plus 3m which is equal to minus g by 5 they'll undergo retardation and finally they'll come to instantaneous rest Finally, what when the blocks will come to instantaneous rest? So here, this will be two m. So this is what is asking for us. How to calculate that? H is equal to so zero square minus v square equal to two a h. Uniform exerted motion, uniform retarding motion. This will be minus v square equal to minus g by five into h. What is v? U by five. Now that will cancel out. So two g h by five. So this should be u square by phi equal to 2g. I think I'll, I'll slide up a little bit. So this uh, this 25 phi will be there. So u square by 2g into this is 1 by 5. So what is u square by 2g? Should be h naught. So final answer will be h naught by 5. Did the maximize it? After this, what will happen? Again, they'll start moving down. After this, what will happen? Again, they will start. Move. Again, the block three M will descend and block two M will ascend. You have to follow the sequence of diagram. Nothing is there. So the, this simple is important. And now look at the again the energy. Is there any loss in mechanical of system? What is the initial? kinetic energy mu square so let, let's check it initial kinetic energy just before collision mu square by 2 after collision 2m by 2 v square plus 3m v square by 2 check it kf will be less than ki and we do this heat generated in the string heat generated in string they should be equal to ki minus kf they may ask you troublesome questions of these kinds